Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Hello everyone and welcome back to Andrew's Table. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make three very easy and healthy breakfast ideas. So the first one we're going to be making is a chia seed pudding. I don't like eating bananas by itself, but I like banana flavored things. So I like to add banana to my oatmeal and also to this chia seed pudding. So we're going to be making that. It's a very easy on the go kind of meal. The second one we're going to be making is a cheesy egg quesadilla. I'm going to be adding a couple other things to make it a little healthy and a little extra. And lastly, we're going to be making an acai bowl. Grace and I eat this a lot during the summer times as a breakfast alternative. And also we were super inspired the moment Grace came back from Bali from her honeymoon. We were literally eating this almost every day. So let's go and start with our banana chia seed pudding. We will need a mason jar and I like putting it in here so that I can close it up and just stick it in the fridge. You can eat it in the car or on the way to work and it's a really good way to store it and pack it at the same time. For this pudding, we're gonna need an eighth cup of chia seeds, half cup of milk. I'm just gonna give this a mix and let the chia seeds really absorb the milk. One banana, we're gonna smash this with our fork. A tablespoon of peanut butter, a half teaspoon of cinnamon. This adds a really nice touch. A teaspoon of maple syrup or honey. We can opt this out if you guys don't want to add a sweetener to it. The banana itself is sweet enough, I think, but I sometimes like a little addition of honey or maple syrup. Let's transfer this to our mason jar. So keep this in the fridge for at least two hours to let it chill and really absorb all the milk and the sweeteners. And you can keep this in the fridge for up to seven days and just eat it throughout the week. So it's a really good breakfast meal prep. I decided to do this video because I don't really eat breakfast myself and I've noticed that when I don't eat breakfast, I tend to eat a lot for lunch or dinner. And my body thinks it's hungry because I didn't jumpstart it right for the day. And then I'll start to eat junk food and just unhealthy and I realize when I do eat breakfast that I feel more satisfied throughout the day. For our breakfast quesadilla, we're gonna add our cheese to the pan first and make the cheese crisp up a bit. Have that on a medium high. And now we'll crack in one egg. Okay, I'm gonna lower the heat now. Let's add in some great tomatoes. our kale or spinach, half an avocado, salsa. You can add salt and black pepper to taste. One tortilla. Look at this. Wow. Hold it. And now we'll crank it up to a medium. Do you guys know what it's time for? Today's word of the day is yoheng, which means to travel. And I'm using this word because Juno and I just booked our trip to Rome and Paris and I'm so excited for it. I am just hoping that Grace's baby doesn't come out early because it's so close to her due date. So I'm just hoping that her baby comes out on its due date. Sorry, great. Uh, Kevin and Essie just came back from their walk. So it's going to be a little loud. 
I think he has to go to the bathroom. Um. <laughs> so today's word of the day is yohe, which means to travel. For our acai bowl, we need two packs of frozen acai puree. We, we got ours from Target. And if you guys don't want to use acai or can't find acai, I think you can use any type of frozen mixed berries. And a cup of frozen blueberries. A half cup of milk of choice. You may need more depending on the consistency. Place this back on. When Grace came back from Bali, she brought these bowls back. There's something so natural and aesthetic about the purple smoothie against this wooden gradient bowl, and it's just really pretty. So we're gonna be using this, but obviously you guys don't have to use wooden bowls. Just regular white bowls or any color bowls will be fine. And we'll top it off with banana, blueberries, We wanted to top it off with some strawberries as well to add some pop of color to it, but because of the recent news and recalls of strawberries, we are opting out of that. Granola, and I'm actually gonna add a little bit of chia seed to this too. And honey, and you can opt this out for anything of your choice, and we're ready to eat. And now we will eat. I'll give you this. What do you want? Like oh, you, you can reach it? Yeah. Okay, you don't want a banana? Mm. The honey is a perfect touch. Mm. 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 It's really good. Okay. Mm. Mm. I've been really liking baby kale juices. Yeah, it's not as rough. It's not as bitter and rough, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's like a one pen recipe. Mm -hmm. You don't have to saute it and take it out as something, you know. You just pile it all up on top, flip it, fold it, you're done. For some reason, this is so good. I just eat it. Oh, not bad. You know what helps? The cinnamon mm -hmm. and the peanut butter. I actually kind of prefer this over Greek yogurt as like a snack. Oh, um, you get sick of Greek yogurt sometimes. Mm -hmm. Really good breakfast meal. And also, chia seeds have a component that makes you feel full. So I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. So, with the blueberries are so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and try one of these three ideas out for breakfast because they always say breakfast is the most important meal of your day. So we'll see you guys on our next video.